you doing today? Thank you once again for tuning in. Um, this is another episode of Wish Me Luck Thrifting. And um, I have some more items to show you today, and I hope you'll all enjoy them. And I'd like to say Happy Easter to all the family near and far. And I hope you'll enjoy it to the fullest. And we pray for everybody to have a, a happy Easter and each and every happy day in that they, you know, um, have yourself a, a, a beautiful life also. So anyways, today I have, uh, I'm also showing you uh, a variety of items like I always do. You know, I don't always only stick to one certain item. Whatever I find, whatever I feel, you know, people might want to, um, you know, want to look at or, you know, might be interested in. That's what I do. I pick them up. <laughs> so anyways, um, I thank everybody for, you know, uh, always uh, tuning in and, uh, you know, all the subscribers and I hope for more subscribers to come on board and, you know, share and like the videos if you, you know, if you can and thank you. And so here we go again with another thrift haul. Anyways, this first item I have is just a, it's a cute little wall decor elephant. I like the ears on it, how they go. It's really nice. The little trunk is up somewhat. It's a wooden piece, some type of wood. I don't know if there's a little sign on the back. Let me see what, it, let me see if it uh, says what type of wood it is. Um, this says wooden mask. Uh, Trying to see if I can see the, because I think that the, I think it's in, uh, this might have been made in Mexico, but then I say, see Indonesia on it, different, it's different language, it's a, in a language I can't read it, but anyway, it's a, it's a nice, uh, you know, nice wall decor piece, here's the back of it. It is a nice, uh, elegant um, wall decor piece. And I'm pretty sure it's a, a, some type of a wood it's made of. So that's my first um, item I wanted to bring out and show. And this next... Um, the next item is also wood. It's a it's a beautiful wood box. A little storage box. This piece is also wood. I was told it was wood. I guess it's some type of wood. And yeah, it's got the design on the top of it. It's a cute uh, cute little box for you know a little storage box. Yeah, it's a little storage box. There's no writing or anything on it, but I just thought it was cute, you know. Nice little decor piece, too, also. And while I'm on the wood, I got these little candle holders, which are really nice. This might be some type of wood, too, or that other kind of, or some other kind of uh, material that they make. I think it's a, it's a type of wood. Anyway, they're cute. They're tri-color. Uh, it's like a, like a little, uh, I thought that was green, but I'm not sure if it's black. Uh, uh, then you got the light wood and like the red color wood. I like the twisted uh, look that they have. And those are... Those are six inches in height. Then I've got another wooden um, piece. This is, I, I think this is wood. This might be resin. I don't know what, 
I don't know if this is real wood or not. I think it's like a resin or something, maybe. Then the, it's not metal either, but I, I don't think. But it's, it's almost like a Trojan horse. It's really nice. Almost like a Trojan horse, and it's a uh, nice. Um, this one is. This one is um, fourteen inches in height. So this one stands fourteen inches in height, but it's really nice. It's almost like it's. I think it's painted to make it look metal. But that's a gray paint or something on it. And it, I don't, yeah, it's, it's nice. But like I said, it could be wood. I don't know. It just doesn't seem like wood. It almost looks like a, I think it's a resin. But it's nice anyway. It's a nice, uh, people like to decorate with that. And I've got this beautiful little doll that I found. I don't think it's old. It's not old. It's a more modern doll, but I mean, I thought it was nice, colorful. The colors are nice on her. She's got all her parts. What the shoe was coming off. Okay, she's got all her, got, got all her items. She's got a little uh, shoes on. And she's got earrings, a necklace. Turn the necklace around. Bows in her hair. It's purple hair, purple and a reddish color, blue, and a little outfit on. And the little legs are like reddish with sparkles. I don't know what this doll is. I, I think it's a more modern doll though. It's not, I think it's from 2020. Would I see the, yeah, it's metal and it's from 2020, made in Indonesia. It's not old, but it's just cute, it, and it's nice. And it's got all everything on it, you know. It's got its jewelry. It's got the jewelry, and it's got the um, the shoes on her, on her feet. And uh, got the long purple hair. So I thought that was really, um, really cute. This is, this tall too she is. This is, um, it's almost 12 inches. 11, uh, 11 and three quarters. That's just really tall. So then I've got these, um, I've got these beautiful plates that I found. These are really nice, the green and white. I, I really like the colors of them. These say um, they're made in Italy and, uh, you know, decoration. I can't really, I think it's in um, in Italian, the, the writing on the back of it. But it, they have all got a mark on the back. Same thing. But it says made in Italy. Know that much. And there's four of these uh, snack plates. Uh, five, the, five snack plates. Five of the plates, but one of the plates, no, two of the, what? Two of the plates have a little chip in them. One on the back on this one. And this one. Oh yeah, this one has a little chip. There's three of them have a little chip, and this one has the chip on the front. If that's on the back, I wouldn't mind, but it's on the front. But I don't know what I'll do with them. You know, I don't think I could, I can't sell them like that with chips like that. But anyway, these are the bowls. And this one has a little something going on there. It might be a little chip, little loss of paint or something. And they're all say, they all say Italy, made in Italy on them. It's all the same, uh, they all have the same, um, graphics on them. It's a, a building and there's a boat there down in the water. The color, I, I like the colors on them. I don't know if I'm gonna keep the, keep them, keep the ones that are good and throw the other ones away and then just one plate. 
they were only a couple of dollars, so I took them. You know, I like the green and white on them. So I've got one plate, four bowls, and five small plates. And I got these, which I thought were really cute for a girl, you know, or a lady, young girl, anybody could wear them. They're nice. They're uh, called Beautiful Girl, and they're, they're uh, lace cuff footless leggings, and the design on them is really nice. These are only made in China, but they're, they're nice. It's a design, two pairs with different designs. And they are a small, I think, or size, it says size X, but it says XXXL. So I don't know if they're extra small, or extra large. It says, um, I'll tell you what it says. It says height 145 to 180 centimeters, or the hip is 85 to 98 centimeters. So anyway, they're they're lace cuff footless leggings, no feet in them. They're just they, you can wear them under shorts or under a skirt, you know, short skirt or under shorts. And they have the uh, the designs on them. So there's two pair of those. I think they're black. I think those leggings are black. two with a and I just found this little set of cards it says uh, your golf games in big trouble when I didn't open them up because they were taped and they're still taped let's see can I get them open find the end of it too. To open it. Oh my gosh. No. Wait a minute now. I might be able to. No, they're really taped up. They're really taped up good. Anyway, it's a set of two two sets of uh, cards. It's their golf. Uh, I don't know what the age of them are. I can't see anything else on them. I should have already tried to open them before I did the video. Oh, I see that part right there. If I can, if I can get this. Maybe. Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, I opened them all right and mixed them up, I think. Oh, yeah, so they're. Let's see. It says, um. Oh, yeah. And they all have a saying on them Your score is so bad, the club gives you a $2 rebate on your green fees. Oh, yeah, and they got little graphics on the, each card. I guess it's all different, yeah. The sayings on them are all different. So now I'm going to have to uh, take these cards and because I think I just mixed them all up. I'm going to have to separate them. I'm going to have to separate them. I don't know what happened. Or is it? Oh, I think there was three decks. No, two. I don't know. Whatever I did, I mixed them all up anyway, so. Looks like it was three decks of cards. It can't be. It's only two. No, no. Oh, I see. I got some of the... No. Never mind. I'll do them later. I'll have to 
pick out how many cards goes to what. Oh, there's some blue. The blue ones go over there and the red one, okay. Sorry about that, everybody. I really mixed these up. I should have left it closed. Uh, I don't know. I can't even do that right now. But anyway, it's a set of cards, and they have golf sayings. They have graphics on them and, with, and golf sayings. It's a cute little set. And the next item I have to show you is uh, something I was looking for for a long time and I could never find one. Then I went to the store on the weekend. I wasn't even looking for it because I said, forget about it. I could never find one for a long time. And then just out of the blue, here it comes. I needed that number one for so long to put the numbers on the house. And I had the other three. I had the other numbers and I couldn't, couldn't find a number one. I was going to order it offline, but I just couldn't find the right style and the right size so here i i found one found it after all that time and i wasn't even looking for it i just happened to be standing there went down the aisle and was standing there looking at the stuff and then all of a sudden my eyes go to that and i go oh my gosh number one i couldn't believe it i couldn't believe it that i found it so that was just you know when you least expect it that's what happens you just never know then these are just, I pick these up when I see them because sometimes you, you find the bowls, the, uh, the nut bowls, and they don't have the, uh, you know, the, the picks and stuff and the cracker to go in it. So I find them and then put them in with the, if I, if I sell one, I just put them in with it. And then I found this, um, this little uh, decor piece. It's a nice little thing. It says, welcome aboard. It must be a, it's a boat. For, on, for a boat, so anybody that's got a, a rustic uh, decor, you know, this look nice hung up somewhere. Looks like rope here, piece of rope, and then you get your hanger on the back. Oh, that's nice, a little uh, wooden decor piece. And then I also got um, this uh, this maple leaf, um, you know, uh, souvenir spoon holder. But nowadays they use them more for then souvenir spoons. You can use them for all different types of, uh, you know, projects or for jewelry or it's different things you see hung on them or, or they just hang it up for a decoration. But this one's really nice. It's the maple leaf. So I took that because I thought it was nice. And you, every time I come, I come across them sometime. But a lot of times there was there was this really nice one, but the these this was all broke. A big chunk of this broke off of it. And it was like, oh gosh, can you even fix it? Probably could have bought one. Probably could have bought another one and, and and stuck it on the other one. But I didn't want to go through all that. And then I got, um, I found this little, uh, little metal, little metal shell. Little dish. These can be used for soap dishes or little trinket dish. Um, you know, any type of, uh decor you know whichever way you want to use and this one was is older it was made in hong kong it's a nice little one with a sticker on the bottom just needs to be cleaned up if you if people want to clean it up but the only problem i saw with it is um there's a piece out right here and i was wondering is that piece supposed to be out or is that the way you know because i don't think anything would go down in that but i see that piece out of it right there so I wasn't sure if that was broke or that's the way it goes. It almost looks like that's the way it, it was made. So anyway, that's the little clamshell, metal clamshell. And then I found two of these. I just took these because these are good for, you know, hanging your business cards on or, or uh, you know, little paperweight things on your desk. And um, they're just cute little uh, little clip clip uh, business card holders, or put a little picture in it, or you know little little devices, little things you can use, you know, for whatever purpose you like. 
Then I found this beautiful little, uh, little tiny little vase. It's like a, it's green and it's got three little frogs for feet. Three little frogs for feet and a little stem, a little flower going up the side. And that's ceramic. Then I found this little uh, container. This is a, uh, this is one of those, um, this is marked on the bottom, but the, the, I think it was hand painted, hand painted and made in maybe England or Bavaria or something like that, but it wore off. So it's hard to see, but it's a little, uh, either porcelain or ceramic one, a little hair receivers they used years ago to save their hair back in the days. And this is just a little cute little jug I found. Really cute. And this one was, um, this is marked also on the bottom. And it was, uh, what's it say? Gorway, Norway, uh, I don't know, there's some writing on it. Sure. G E R F U N T something. It says Stan. No, I can't even read it. Maybe S T A V A N G E R F U N T or something like that. Well, it is marked on the bottom. I don't know. It's some tiny little jug, but it's cute. It's uh, like a little ceramic jug. This is a nice pair of uh, salt and pepper shakers in white and they have the stoppers in them and there's no uh i don't see any chips or cracks they feel like porcelain so anyway they're kind of, they're big these are these are four almost three four and three quarter inches in height so they're fairly tall And this is a set of um, this is a set of napkin ring napkin rings, and I I like them the way they go. They're little leaves. They're metal. And there's eight of these. There's eight. They were um. Yeah, there's eight eight of them, and they're really nice napkin ring holders. Silver, silver in tone. I just took them because I don't see these type of napkin ring holders all the time, so I thought they're really, uh, really unique, you know, different. There's eight of them. Sometimes you're lucky to find four, let alone eight. And then most times you find the odd number, number six, which, uh, I mean, number five, which, you know, which is, um, Kind of weird at times, but then this this is cute. I just took this because it was a uh, I like the graphics on it. I guess it's made to look old, but it's um it says uh it says it's a farm girl. It's it's a a pillowcase, I think, but you can, something like a potato, a uh, flower sack or something. I don't know if it's a flower sack or a pillowcase, but, you know, you can cover a cushion or something with it. And the colors are nice if you want that older style look. So it's still in the package. And it says, it does have a tag right here. It says, uh, it says fancy patent. She fancy pet. It's one pillowcase. And that's what it looks like open up on the tay on the thing here. You could probably use for a flower sack or something like that. You know, you put uh, made it look like a flower sack or something that's old. It says registered and it's got all different writing over it. So I took that for that reason. And then I got this too. This is like a, I think, a toaster, uh, 
a toaster cover. This one's a really nice one. thought this one was really nice and it's got a tag that says um, the nation the nation the national or something for Scotland I think it's Scotland yeah so anyway it's that little tag is on it but I just took that for myself to to use a, you know for my toaster get all kinds, no matter how much you wipe it, you get all kinds of dust. The dust just flies. And I got these, I thought these were really nice. I like the design on it, these glasses. There's three of these, but the problem is they had them, you know, for very cheap, these three glasses together, which I couldn't believe. And uh, they're beautiful, they're hand blown. They do have the pondo on the bottom, pondo, I think that's what you call it. And it's like the crackle glass, beautiful blue. And it's got this beautiful decoration on the bottom, which is really nice. And um, so these two were, these two are, are, you know, if anybody was looking, you know, to buy those, these two, but, there is a third one, but this one has a chip on the bottom of the glass. That's probably why they sold them so cheap, but they're really nice. They're, they're beautiful blue, and they're, you know, I don't know. I, I do have a, you know, you can buy those um, things that do file uh, glass so that it wouldn't be sharp at least, but I don't know how else you could ever. Well, it's a shame that this one has the little crack, a little chip on it. They're so nice. And these are handmade, hand blown. Yeah, they're hand blown and they're beautiful. I, I really like this uh, design that's on the bottom of it. The blue is beautiful. So there's three of them, but at least there's two of them are good. I mean, if you're just displaying them, this one, you know, once you turn it, you're not going to see it anyway, but it's just the thought that it's there, you know, but if anybody bought the two, if they did want the third one, you know, they could have it. If not, it's only going to be thrown out anyway. But I just thought those were so nice, the the glasses, the they're so pretty, that blue, and the crackle, it's crackle glass. Yeah, it's the crackle glass. I've got this little uh, water pitcher. I know these come a dime a dozen, but you know there are still people that like these little water, water, um, water pitchers or juice pitchers. And uh, it's got a star on the bottom of it. And it's got like the starburst here. The the. The decoration is really nice, cute little, you know, just a, a cute little picture. And this one's in really great condition. No chips or cracks or anything on it. So I thought that was really nice. But it's really, it's what other people think, you know. It's not only my thoughts, you know. It's what other people think about them. And then this is another set of, of napkin rings. I took these ones because I thought they were they were really nice with the beads and the the little uh, stones and things on them. These are they're really nice napkin ring holders. So there's I think there's six of these. Yeah there's six of these ones. So these are really nice. I like them the way they're just, they're wild looking, they're, they're nice, they're, they're really nice. The way they, the way whoever made them, they did a great job. This looks like all little, little uh, gold beads on the, on the, or some type of bead, beading. 
So anyway, six of those. And you know, like they always say, you can take, you know, you don't always have to use these for, um, for, for uh, I was going to say onion rings. I mean, napkin rings, you can use them for decorating, you know, for decoration for a lot of people do uh, crafting and stuff. And you can make some use out of them. You just never know what you can use them for. Then this I got, I found this little uh, glass, um, little glass turtle with the diamond uh, shape of uh, glass and the, so it's really nice, the little turtle. And this has no marks or anything on it. No maker's marks. It's just uh, it's just a cute little decor piece that I found. I thought, you know, I know a lot of people do collect the turtle items, and this is another nice piece that I thought was nice. So I had to take it. Yep, it's in this bag. Oh yeah, in here I've got um, just uh, yeah, I found um. I found these on my travels. There's four of them since it, and I'm gonna take the um. So these are little, uh, little um. These are little cups. There's four of them, four of these little cups. But some of them on the bottom, like this one, yeah, they all have it, but it's hard to see. It says Fiesta Wear. There's a green, yellow, and two blue. And um, so it is on the bottom, written in there, USA, Fiesta, USA. And um, there's a green, yellow, and two blue. The other blue is in the bag. But um, I took them because I thought those were... Uh, Just making sure the other blue is the same color. Well, yeah, I think they're the exact same color. So anyway, they're Fiesta wear and it says USA, but it's faintly, but it is there Fiesta, and they're really pretty. So there's four of those little cups, and those were so cheap I couldn't leave them behind. You know, it's like oh my gosh, I couldn't put them any cheaper. Oh, you know, sometimes it, it, it's like I can't, I, I have to buy them, I have to take them. So anyway, I know there are people that do collect Fiesta wear. I wish there had been a red one or an orange, but there was two blue. That's all they had, those four, so. I have to take what they had, you know. Well, that wasn't bad for those, you know. I didn't think it was anyway. I like them. And um, then I also have, um, show them. hold on one second, I will be right there. And then this, this is just a little tray I found, and little, you know, little, a few little things. I'll show you in one second. So this is a little old tray I found from year, you know, it's from the the uh, Bonjour de Montreal Canada Expo '67, and it's the uh, yeah, it was Expo '67. Brings back a lot of memories because I was there and uh, so 
When I saw that, I said, I think I got one more other piece set of a Expo 67. But anyway, this was a, this is a picture frame that I found. I only found it to put in the bathroom. There was something I wanted to do with it, but it's plastic. Looks nice, and I liked it. I wanted it for that design. So that was little or nothing in the tray. And then I found these two, um, you know, picture holder stands. Whoops. So you just, uh, you know, use them. to hold up pictures or plates or whatever you want to put on. So I found two of them together for a couple dollars. So, you know, took those. You can always use them. They always come in handy, those things, especially when you're, you know, doing staging and stuff. You need to stand stuff up. I only took these things. I bought these things for wrapping uh, items up when you, if you sell your items. And this one is a nice... Um, this is just a little metal plate, a floral design. I like the colors in it, the red and blues and green and gold. And then I took, I, I found these eight uh, dessert knives, which are really nice. There's eight of those, I like the handles on them. And these ones are they say John Blyde, Clint Talk Works, Sheffield, and it says uh, Genius First Stainless. So there's eight of these. And I think these are collectible items. These, these uh, I, you know, dessert knives. They're nice, though. I've, I gotta find a stand. I'm gonna try to find a stand to put them in if I can come across one. Then I also found, um, I've got a little cute little flower paperweight. This is nice. It's always nice to find little paperweights. Then this is, um, this is a beautiful uh, vase. Thought this green was really pretty. It does have the mark on the bottom. I think it's Japan. It says Japan on it. It's beautiful. I never saw it in this color before. It's really nice. Sorry for the noise with that paper, everybody. These these are just some little um things I still had them wrapped up. This is a cute little vase, blue, which I, I'm going to put a, some of them together in a lot, and then this one, I think I got another blue one first, this one, and this is another blue one, it's another little blue vase. This one, I found two of these. There's two of these in green. Found two of those in green. So those are two nice green vases. So I'll just put keep them together when I get ready to mess those. Sell those together. It's good to have two, I guess. The rest is only one, you know, somebody might only want one, I don't know, sometime, but we'll see. So anyway, I just wanted to bring that and show it. And, um, oops, I better not put that there. That one goes in there. And then... My next item I have is um, is this beautiful, it's a beautiful picture, which I, which 
which I never ever found one before and I didn't even really know nothing about it, but well, I hardly know anything about anything I get anyway, but it's a guessing game you play sometimes unless I really look stuff up, but I did look this up after I found it. And I, yeah, it's, it's a beautiful picture and it's in excellent condition, this is. And this is uh, on the bottom, it says uh, Starbucks, which I didn't even know Starbucks made pictures. Um, it's from 2000, 2003 Starbucks Coffee Company. And it says Starbucks Barista, made in China. So I didn't even, it's from 2003. I didn't even know Starbucks made these, but this is beautiful. The Nice and wide. It's beautiful. So this is from Starbucks. I learned something new every day. I was really surprised when I seen it and it said Starbucks on it. This is eight and a quarter inches in height, or almost eight and, a, eight and a half inches in height, just above. But this is really nice for anybody that collects Starbucks. It's beautiful. So that's a Starbucks picture. Then, um, I think I'm getting down to almost the end of this video. Um, so anyways, I found this beautiful little uh, piece of glass. It's thick, heavy. It's like a, it looks like a little purse. Nice blue. It's a nice blue color. And it, um, it's got no sticker or anything on the bottom, no marks. It's not marked or anything. But it's probably, you know, just a... A modern piece is probably not uh, no that old but it's just it's a nice uh, piece of glass and it doesn't have any chips or cracks or anything on it's in really great condition for anybody that collects glass pieces so that was nice then I got these three um, pieces uh, got these glasses which I think I showed these before but they're really nice and colorful. They almost remind you of that uh, that style uh, Murano, but I'm pretty sure they're not, but they're in the Murano style. And um, they're just a really nice, uh, really nice and colorful. And these were hand blown and these are signed and marked on the bottom, but I don't know what it really says, but it does look like I'm not sure if that says 2012 or if it's 20 something two or let me see I keep looking on them because of what maybe 2012 maybe it says 2012 and then there's a, a name but I can't make out the name I don't know. So it, it might be 2012 that they were made. This one looks like it says 2011. I'm not really sure. But, you know, they're, they're beautiful. And they have, uh, they were hand blown. They have the pondo in the middle. And the colors are beautiful on the way they made them. All the little colors. We have the round footed uh, base on the bottom. And they're all in really excellent condition, these three uh, cups. I, and I always try to find another one to make it four, but it's so hard to find. I'm lucky I ever found these ones. I got these, found these a couple of years ago, and I just held on to them, hoping I would always find another one, but I've never. I've never come across another one like this. I mean, I've seen those other glasses, um, something like martini glass stuff where they have the colors and stuff. Where I do have, you know, some of them, but I, you know, I didn't want to put them together with these. But I thought these ones are really nice, nice and, and decorative. Just for, you know, decor uh, purposes, they're really nice. Thick, they're thick and, and they got weight to them. 
So those were really, uh, you know, I kept those. Had them for a couple of years and I kept them. I said I may as well, uh, may as well um, hang on to them. And then the next items I have to show you are, are these two beautiful, um, two beautiful flower vases, ceramic, and they do have a floral on them. This one, the flowers are different on each one, but they're just beautiful. And uh, they seem to be in really great condition. They look like they might have had a sticker on the bottom at one time or another, but there's no sticker or anything, so I don't know where they're made. I hesitated to buy them, but then I said, well, uh, they don't, they're not marked, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take a chance and buy them anyway. Maybe there's something, I don't know. But this one has like crazy, or it looked like, looked like that could have been a, I don't know if that's a crack or in the manufacturing down here, around here. There's a little, there's a mark there. Almost looks like a hairline thing, but then it looks, just looks like a dark mark. So I don't know if it's in the manufacturing when they were made. And then this one, this one, um, seems to be in a better condition. There's not that much wrong with them. I still got to wash the sticker off of that. Took some of the sticker off. Some of the stickers come off nice and easy. Other times they, they don't want to come off. But I'll wash it off anyway. I got solution. You know, and I was even watching a program where they show you, you know, you take those little oils like a, the little, you know, the oils, uh, the scented oils, and you can, uh, you can remove your stickers with that stuff. It takes it right off, and I tried it because I have uh, uh, bottles of those little oils, and I said, oh, I must try one. So I did take it and try, and it does it, and it's a nice scent also. Just rub it, you know, on a, and, and it takes the, with a piece of cloth, it takes the, takes the, uh, the residue and everything right off. It's really good in that way. Anyway, this is a nice, you know, nice set of uh, vases. So they could be somebody's homemade, you know, just a project someone did. Or, you know, I just thought they were nice anyway. They they seem really nice. Seemed like they were done really, you know, don't have marks. Or, they probably had a sticker on them or something, but they don't have it now. And, uh... So, you know, like the mark I showed you, it's not on the front, it's on the back of it anyway, right here. But it doesn't, I don't know if it's just a man, you, in, you know, in the, uh, when they made it in some crazing or something right here. I don't know, but other than that, that's the, the vases. And these are, I think one looks like a little bigger than the other. Yeah, they're about eight and a half inches in height for those. So anyways, everybody, getting down to the last, um, the last item today. I hope so far everybody enjoyed everything that they, uh, you know, that they seen. And I hope you'll continue to like, share, and, and uh, subscribe. Appreciate that. And this last item I'm going to show you is a beautiful, uh, it's a beautiful round tray round dish. It's almost like that toll, they call it toll paint. Toll painting is beautiful. It's all painted it with floral. This is, this is not even, it's not even round. It's like a, you know, it's like a, it's, that's the way it was made, this type of wood, but it's beautiful. It's got the floral, which is really pretty. Um, for people that like some color in their life, you know, this is really nice. Yeah, it's like the toll painting or something they call it. I'm not sure, but this is like a wood, a type of wood. I don't know exactly what type of wood. It's not marked or anything on the bottom. Here's the back of it. And I just thought it was so colorful that... Um, it was so colorful that I... Uh, I wanted to um, show it. So these 
deserve. Yeah, so that's um that's a really you know really nice uh, really nice tray. Can't go wrong with it. I mean the colors are just just gorgeous. You know it's it's just beautiful. Even if nobody ever buys it, it's something I can keep for myself. So I think I'm going to show these to, um, I don't think I showed these, I, not that I know of. I don't know if I showed these two pictures or not. I was just looking at them and wondering, did I show them before? But anyway, this is the a beautiful, I mean, it's, you can't go wrong with it. It's, it's just a nice decorative piece. So I just thought that was, you know. You can't you can't go wrong with it. Then I did have these, but I know I don't remember in the last uh, video if I if I did show these or not. These two pictures, they're beautiful pictures of uh, it's beautiful art. I don't know if anybody would be interested in this type of art, but it's beautiful. It's black and white, and it's uh, it's it's from their says uh, their sign B Henpa or something like that, and it's from 1979. The pictures are they're from 79, and their seaside um seaside uh, portraits you've got the seagulls there probably getting ready to fish or something for some fish Looks like they're going fishing the seagulls you've got some nice background got a yeah and the seagull whoever did they did a beautiful job and then here's the other one this one um same thing you got a nice boat in the water and yeah, they're both signed by the same name, B-H-E-N-B-A, Henba, and it says 79, so I guess they're from 1979, and they're beautiful. And here's the backs of them. So they have nice framing, it's called the Framing Experience, and... Yeah, really nice. They have to hang, you know, you can hang them up already. And the frames go really good. The frame goes really good with the picture. It's like sketches or something. They're really nice. It's little, looks like it's a little, uh, you know, like uh, warped a little on the inside on that one. Yeah, it looks a little warped on the inside. But, I mean, they look good. They're really nice pictures. So, I just thought I'd bring them out and show them because I wasn't sure if I already showed them. So anyway, everybody, um, thank you for uh, for watching again. And um, sorry if I took too long, but anyways, just wanted to make sure I show everything. Sometimes I maybe I, I might not be doing another uh, video till the end of the month again, but. Uh, yeah, so that's the end of the, the items that I had to show you today. And um, I just want to say again, Happy Easter to everybody. And I hope that everyone has herself a, a great festive meal for Easter. And um, enjoys, you know, just enjoy each and every day. It doesn't always have to be a, a celebration or a holiday. Just try to enjoy every day and stay healthy and, and enjoy your families. So anyways, everybody, with that, I will say thank you. Please subscribe if you, if you uh, can. And... Um